Normally, the heart beats at a regular rate of 60 to 100 beats per minute, triggered by its own electrical conduction system. When this conduction system is working properly, the sinoatrial or SA node acts as the heart's natural pacemaker. The SA node generates an electrical impulse that travels to the atrioventricular or AV node bundle of his right and left bundle branches and Purkinje fibers. Each time an impulse reaches the Purkinje fibers, it causes the atria and ventricles to contract, which creates a heartbeat. When problems develop in the heart's conduction system, the SA node may not work normally. This can cause the heart to beat too quickly, too slowly, or irregularly. An abnormal heart rate is known as a dysrhythmia. Bradycardia is a dysrhythmia with a heart rate below 60, which can be life-threatening. Because it is so dangerous, bradycardia is one of the most common reasons for a pacemaker insertion. A pacemaker is a device that restores the heart's natural rhythm by providing electrical signals to the myocardium. Although different types of pacemakers exist, they all have two main parts. A pulse generator, which is a small box with electrical components and a battery, and one or two leads, which are insulated wires that carry electrical impulses from the pacemaker to the heart. To implant a pacemaker, a surgeon makes a small incision beneath the patient's clavicle. Then, guided by X-ray images on a video screen, the surgeon inserts the pacemaker leads into the subclavian vein and threads them towards the heart until one reaches the right atrium. If a second lead is used, the surgeon continues threading it until it reaches the right ventricle. After testing the leads to make sure they're working properly, the surgeon connects them to the pulse generator, then places the generator in a small skin pouch created below the clavicle. Finally, the surgeon closes the incision. After implantation, the pacemaker can take over the SA node's job and keep the heart beating regularly and at the proper rate.